everyone. Welcome to our fifth video tutorial in basic calculus. In today's video, we're going to discuss illustrating the continuity of a function. So continuity of function at constant c. A function is said to be continuous at x equals c if there is no interruption in the graph of f of x at c. There is no hole, jump, or gap at x equals c. Upon tracing the graph of a function, you are not going to lift your pen at x equals c. Once you lift your pen, it means that the graph of function is discontinuous at x equals c. So, para mas mapaliwanag ito, class, let's have some examples. So, let's take a look at the first one. So, ito yung sketch ng graph ng f of x is equal to 3x minus 1. Ang question sa atin is this. Is the function continuous at x equals 1? So, ito yun. Diba? At x equals 1. Ayan. Ito yung consider natin. Kapag ba tinrace natin tong graph, tong sketch ng graph ng function na to, let's say meron kang pen, itatrace natin yung sketch ng graph. When it reached this point, dito, sa at x equals 1, meron bang hole, or meron bang jump, or meron bang gap? Ibig sabihin, kapag meron akong pen, at dinro ko yan, tinrace ko ito, aangat ba yung aking pen? The answer is, no. Diba? Hindi aangat yung pen. Ibig sabihin, this function is continuous at x equals 1. Papansin nyo, dare-diretso lang, walang hole dito, walang uh, gap, or walang jump. Okay? Let's have another example. Ayan. So, ang tanong dito, is the function continuous at x equals 1? So, ganun ulit. Let's say, meron tayong pen, trace natin yan, yung sketch ng graph natin, ito yung at x equals 1, right? Okay, kapag meron tayong pen at tinrace natin yung sketch ng graph, pansin natin na aangat yung pen natin. And ito naman yung itutro. Ibig sabihin, meron ditong jump. Okay? Since nagkaroon ng jump, hence, no. ba? This function is not continuous at x equals 1. Okay? Let's have the third example. So, same question. Is the function continuous at x equals 1? So, again, ang x equals 1 dito. Okay? Itrace natin yung sketch ng graph. Okay? Dere-derecho ba? Or may hole, may jump, or may gap ba? Ayan. So, dere-derecho, ba? Wala tayong nakitang hole. Wala tayong nakitang jump. Or wala tayong nakitang gap. Hence, yes. Okay? The function is continuous at x equals 1. For the last example, how about this one? Sketch ng graph ito ng g of x is equal to 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 all over x minus 1. Is the function continuous at x equals 1? So, ganun ulit. If I have here a pen, trace ko yung sketch ng graph. Ayun. Kung papansin natin, aangat yung ating pen. Ano? Para idiretso dito. And may hole. Diba? May hole sa ating graph at this point. Diba? At x equals 1, ito yung katapat niya, may hole. Therefore, no. The function is not continuous or discontinuous, or the function is discontinuous at x equals 1. Okay? So, sana ay nakasusunod pa tayo. Ayan. So, let's proceed. Ayan. So, continuity of a function. A function f of x is said to be continuous at x equals c if the following three conditions are satisfied. First, f of c exists. Second, the limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. And lastly, f of c is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches c. If at least one of these conditions is not met, f is said to be discontinuous at x equals c. So, class, ito yung mga conditions na kailangang masatisfy in order to say that the given function is continuous at x equals c. Ngayon, kapag meron kahit isa lang dyan, kahit isa lang dito na hindi masatisfy, automatic uh, yung function natin ay discontinuous na at x equals c. Okay, so, magbigay tayo ng mga halimbawa. Yes, example 1. Determine if f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3 is continuous at x equals 1. So, let's check muna for the first condition. So, let's check if f of c exists. So, ang c natin dito class is 1. So, we're going to compute for f of 1. Okay? 
And kopyahin muna natin yung given function natin, which is this one. f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3. Solving for f of 1, we'll have this. f of 1 is equal to 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3. So lahat ng x's natin dito, pinalitan lang natin ng 1. Sinubstitute lang natin yung 1. Diba? Sa lahat ng x's dito. So we, have, we will have 1 squared ay 1. So 1 minus 2 ay negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3 ay 2. So f of 1 is 2. Hence, f of 1 exists and it is actually equal to 2. So, okay tayo dun sa unang condition. Let's check naman yung pangalawa. Let's check if limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. So, solve natin muna yung limit. Ayan. So, we're going to find the limit of x squared minus 2x plus 3 as x approaches 1. Ayan. Since yung constant natin dito is a real number and we have here a polynomial, uh, we can use theorem number 2 dun sa ating limit theorems. So, limit of f of x as x approaches 1 is equal lang din sa f of 1. Okay? So, given this function, tung f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 3, uh, isasolve lang natin yung f of 1. Yun lang din yung limit ng function na yan. So, solving for f of 1, so we have f of 1 is equal to 1 squared minus 2 times 1 plus 3. It will still give us 2. Okay, hence, a limit of x squared minus 2x plus 3 as x approaches 1 is equal to 2. Okay, hence, nag exist yung limit of f of x as x approaches c and it is equal to 2. And then, let's check for the third condition. Okay, so let's check if f of c is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches c. Ayan, so makikita natin dun sa nasolve kanina. Ang f of 1 natin ay 2. Ang limit of x squared minus 2x plus 3 as x approaches 1 natin is also equal to 2. Hence, ayan. So, equal. Yung f of 1, ul ulitin ko. f of 1 is equal to the limit of x squared minus 2x plus 3 as x approaches 1. Hence, uh, we can say, therefore, that f is continuous at x equals 1. Again, yung tatlong conditions kasi ay nasatisfy. Okay? So, let's proceed to the second example. Verify if the function f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over x minus 2 is continuous or, di or not at x equals 2. So, ganun ulit. Uh, check natin yung uh, conditions. So, first condition, check if f of c exists. So, ang constant natin dito ay, eto, tung, ang c natin dito ay 2. Ngayon, uh, taking a look at the function class, makikita natin na tung 2 na to, it will make the denominator equal to 0. ba? Kasi 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Hence, alam na agad natin na tung uh, x equals 2 ay wala sa domain ng ating function. Okay? So, Note that f is not defined at x equals 2, since 2 is not in the domain of f. Hence, the first condition in the definition of a continuous function is not satisfied. So, diba? It will make the denominator equal to 0. So, hindi to kasama agad sa domain ng ating function. Actually, kapag pinlog in natin yan sa numerator 0 din. Ano? So, dito, agad-agad, kita na natin na hindi na satisfy yung unang condition na dapat yung f of c natin ay mag -e exist So, sa unang condition pa lang, we can now say that, therefore, f is discontinuous at x equals 2. Again, kasi ke kap kapag meron kang kahit isa lang na condition na hindi masatisfy, automatic, discontinuous na yung given function natin at x equals c. Okay? Next, example number 3. Determine whether the given function f of x is continuous or discontinuous at x equals 4. Ayan, so we're given here a piecewise function. So f of x is equal to x plus 1 if x is less than 4. f of x is equal to the quantity of x minus 4 squared plus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 4. So kung meron tayong piecewise functions, meron, din ta uh, meron tayong sub-functions na kailangang i-consider. And kailangan nating i-check din yung conditions ng bawat isa. So, una-una, sige, tingnan na natin. Continuous kaya or discontinuous 
yung function natin at x equals 4. So, tingnan natin yung unang condition. Let's check if f of z exists. So, again, ang c natin dito ay 4. So, i-check natin yung f of 4. Ngayon, ang tanong, alin dito sa dalawang sub-function ang ating gagamitin? Is it the first one or the second one? Ayan. So, i-check muna natin, class. Saan dito sa dalawang conditions na to magpo-fall yung x equals 4? Okay? Sa first or second? Yes, dito sa second. Diba? Kasi ang condition nung sa second, if x is greater than or equal to 4. So, yung x equals 4, dito siya magpo-fall sa condition na to. Hence, we're going to use this sub-function. So, f of x is equal to the quantity of x minus 4 squared plus 3. So, solve natin yung f of 4 since ang c natin ay 4. Yan. So, pinalitan lang natin yung excess natin ng 4. So, we will have f of 4 is equal to the quantity of 4 minus 4 squared plus 3. And 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 squared ay equal sa 0. Kasi 0 times 0 ay 0. And 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. Hence, f of 4 exists and it is equal to 3. Okay? Yan. So, next condition tayo. So, okay na tayo dun sa unang condition. Tingnan naman natin yung second condition. So, let's check if the limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. So, una muna. Ayan. So, we're going to find the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left. Che-check muna natin, class, yung one-sided limits. ba? So, una muna. Ayan. Ayan. Limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left. Again, tingnan natin yung conditions. Alin kaya dito yung gagamitin natin? Saan magpo-fall to? Again, from the left of 4, ibig sabihin ang i-consider natin na x values ay less than 4. ba? Kasi nga, from the left of 4. Kung meron kang number line, yung constant na 4, lahat ng nasa kaliwa niya na x values. Okay? Yung x value sa kaliwa ang i-consider. So, ito yung gagamitin natin. Dito sa dito siya magpo-fall sa condition na if x is less than 4. Hence, we're going to use this sub-function. f of x is equal to x plus 1. Okay? Ayan. Next. So, in finding the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left, Ayan. So, again, by virtue of theorem number 2 na na-discuss natin dun sa video natin about limit theorems. So, the limit of four, uh, f of x as x approaches 4 is just equal to f of 4. So, isasolve lang natin yung f of 4. Ayan. So, lahat ng x's dito, sinubstitute lang natin yung 4 sa lahat ng x's. So, magkakaroon tayo na f of 4 is equal to 4 plus 1. So, equal yan sa 5. Hence, the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left is equal to 5. Okay? Next tayo. Tingnan naman natin, hanapin naman natin, class, yung limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right. Okay, so from the right, ibig sabihin, ang i-consider naman natin na x values ay nasa kanan ng 4. ba? So, alin ay i-consider natin? The first uh, sub-function or, or the second sub-function? Yes, we're going to consider the second one kasi uh, yung, la yung x values na nasa kanan ng 4 magpo-fall yan dito. x greater than or equal to 4. Greater than 4. Okay? So, x greater than 4, dito siya magpo-fall sa second sub-function. Hence, we're going to use x, f of x is equal to the quantity of x minus 4 squared plus 3. And kagaya kanina, um, by virtue of theorem number 2, the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 is just equal to f of 4. So, substitute lang natin yung 4 sa lahat ng x's dito sa ating function. So, we'll have f of 4 is equal to the quantity of 4 minus 4 squared plus 3. So, 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 squared is 0. Ano kasi 0 times 0 is 0. So, 0 plus 3 equal ito sa 3. Thus, the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right is equal to 3. Okay? Next. Ayan. So, kitang-kita natin dito, class, that the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right. Diba? Kasi yung isa 5, 
yung limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left is equal to 5. While the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right is equal to 3. So, hindi sila equal. Thus, the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 does not exist. Diba kung natatandaan natin sa previous discussions natin, kailangan mag-equal yung one-sided limits to say that um, the limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. And since magkaiba, or hindi nag-equal yung one-sided limits natin, hence we can say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 does not exist. So hindi agad na satisfy yung second condition. So dito pa lang, masasabi na natin na discontinuous yung function natin at x equals 4. Pero sige, pakita natin yung third condition. Ano? Ayan. So, kita natin na hindi agad equal yung dalawa. f of 4 is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 4. Ayan. So, again, therefore, f of x is discontinuous at x equals 4. Okay? So, dalawang conditions agad yung hindi na satisfy. So again, kahit isang condition lang ang hindi ma-satisfy, kaya na agad natin masabi na yung function natin ay discontinuous at x equals c. Okay? Kung ano man yung given na c. Okay, so let's now proceed with this one. So continuity on on interval. Example, consider the graph on the left side, determine if the function f of x is continuous on the following intervals. So, let's say ito yung ating graph. Sketch ng graph natin. So, for the first interval, we have here an open interval uh, from negative 1 to 2. Since parenthesis class yung ginamit, uh, lahat ng values in between negative 1 and 2 ay kasama. Pero, at x equals negative 1, tsaka dun sa x equals 2, hindi natin yan, uh, isasama sa titingnan natin. So, from negative 1 to 2, lahat ng values in between them, Titingnan natin, kapag tinrace natin yung graph, meron bang hole, or meron bang jump, or meron bang gap? Ayan, so wala. Ano, walang hole, walang jump, or wala tayong gap na nakita. Therefore, the function f is continuous on the interval negative 1 to 2. So, open interval yan. Okay? Next, for the second one, from 0 to 3. So, kung mapapansin natin, bracket yung ginamit dito. Pag sinabi ng pag bracket ang ginamit, ibig sabihin, included. At x, yung x equals 0, tsaka x equals 3, dun sa titingnan natin. Okay? So, included. So, lahat ng x values in between 0 to 3, including yung sa x equals 0, tsaka x equals 3. Okay? So, titingnan natin from 0 to 3. Okay? So, titingnan natin yung uh, graph. Sketch ng graph dito. So, kung papansin natin, dere-derecho, kaya lang, at this point, dito sa 3, 0, nagkaroon tayo ng hole. E, di ba sabi nga, i-consider din natin yung at exactly x equals 3. Since may hole ito, the function f is not continuous on the interval 0 to 3. So, closed interval yan. Okay? last um, interval na titingnan natin. So, from negative 2 to 3, so again, we have here an open interval. Ibig sabihin, lahat lang ng x values in between negative 2 to 3. Okay? So, yung uh, negative 1.99999 kasama, pero hindi kasama yung negative 2. Uh, kasama yung 2.99999999999, pero hindi kasama yung x equals 3. Okay? Dun sa titingnan natin. So, from negative 2 to 3, so, yan. Lahat ng x values in between them, titingnan natin. So, ayan. So, wala tayong makikita na uh, hole, jump, or gap. Actually, yung hole, makikita natin yan at exactly dun sa 0 0.30, tsaka dun sa point negative 2, negative 1. But since, ang consider natin na interval ay ito, tingnan natin, parenthesis yan, ba? Ibig sabihin, hindi kasama dun sa titingnan natin yung dun sa x equals negative 2 tsaka dun sa x equals 3. Lahat lang ng values in between them ay consider natin. So, still, this one is continuous on the interval 2, 3. Open interval. Okay? So, the function f is continuous on the interval 2, 3. Okay? So, that's it. So, here's the list of references used in creating this uh, video tutorial so it's the end of the video and thank you all for watching bye